The reality of cardiac chest pain, you're gonna see it. I'm gonna break it down in this video right here. Here we go. Hey everyone, paramedic coach here, back here with another NREMT Prax question I'm gonna unveil for you. Make sure to smash, annihilate that like button down below, hit that subscribe button, and without any further ado, Let's get into this question, and I'm going to lecture after this. Here is the question. We have a 62-year-old male patient, complaints of chest pain, starting 20 minutes ago while out for a walk. Okay, so new onset chest pain, 20 minutes ago, now sitting on the couch. The pain is gone, 0 out of 10. This is. So, in today's video, I'm going to be going over all the main key terms of cardiology so you understand this cold. But first, let's get the answer to this question. So, if we have pain, it goes away at rest. The answer is D, stable angina. Okay, now, STEMI. Maybe you heard of an NSTEMI. Maybe you heard of ACS. Maybe you heard of unstable angina, stable angina. A lot of buzzwords. Let's tackle these so you understand what all these terms are. Here we go. So I first want to start with the difference between stable and unstable angina. We have to get that down first, and then we're going to talk about what happens inside the coronary arteries. Then we're going to move on from there and learn more. Now, first things first, if we have a patient with a stable angina, what that means is the patient had a pain, it could be 8 out of 10, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10, whatever it was. They had a chest pain. And now that they've rested, they sat down, that pain is now gone. Okay? The pain does not last longer than 15 minutes. Okay? That's stable. Now, with unstable, the definition is the pain will persist. And inside EMS, we have to investigate. Inside emergency medicine, we have to investigate how bad or what is this unstable angina? Unstable angina meaning the pain won't go away. They've rested, they've tried meds, and the pain won't go away, okay? That's unstable. So, pain stops at rest, stable. Pain is persistent. Rest, meds, doesn't work. It's longer than 15 minutes. It won't stop. Unstable, okay? Now, what's going on down here? So, there's another uh, type of heart attack that I want you to know about. Now, if you don't know, when I say myocardial infarction, that is the medical term for a heart attack, okay? Now, here's what you need to know. There are two different types of heart attack you can have, okay? So, in the most simplest form, here it is. Heart attacks occur in the coronary arteries. That supplies blood flow to the heart to keep the heart muscle alive, okay? So if we have a giant clot in the coronary artery, blood flow will stop. And I call this basically a classic heart attack. Heart attack the heart attack that everyone thinks about, right? Over on this side, it is not caused by a clot. It's a constriction issue Okay, so the coronary artery is being constricted, vasoconstriction, by under stress. This is called a type of heart attack called a Prinz metal angina, also known as a Prinz metal event. So now we have some buzzwords now. We got stable, we got unstable, we got Prinz metal, okay. We know what arteries are being affected, coronary arteries, okay. Now we're gonna move on. And we're going to talk about ACS, STEMI, and STEMI. We now have to investigate. We have a patient with unstable angina. How bad is it? Let's do that now. Now I'm going to show you how we investigate this and what the key terms are. So first things first, you got to know ACS stands for acute coronary syndrome. Now, any Buddy having a problem with their coronary artery, whether it's stable or whether it ha they're having a full-blown heart attack, 
a myocardial infarction, that is going to be under the umbrella term of ACS, acute coronary syndrome. Something is happening acutely right now to your coronaries. Okay, so if someone in the ambulance has chest pain and we think they're having an acute coronary syndrome, what do we do? We do an EKG, okay? So we've got chest pain, do an EKG. All right, now we do an EKG. As paramedics, you're able to read that EKG and determine if they're having a heart attack just based on the EKG. If we see a heart attack on the EKG, we call that something, we call it a STEMI. Now, what does that stand for? ST elevation myocardial infarction. Whoa, it sounds like, sounds crazy. It's not crazy. The ST segment is elevated in a way that is showing a heart attack on the EKG, called a STEMI, okay? Now, over here, let's say the paramedic does an EKG and there's no heart attack found, but we know that we, had, we, were, we were investigating this unstable angina, this pain that persists, that won't go away, but the EKG says no heart attack. What do we do? Well, at this point, patient will go to hospital, they'll get blood work drawn. So maybe, let's say, let's just say in the ambulance you put in two IVs, they're gonna draw blood off that and they're gonna find the troponin levels and other cardiac uh, markers too. But we're gonna base it on the troponin levels. If the, if the troponin level is normal, we call what's happening to the patient right now unstable angina. If the troponin is elevated, this is how you get what is called an N-STEMI. So a non-ST elevation MI, which means, very simply, they're having a heart attack, but the EKG doesn't show it, the blood work does. So those are all your buzzwords for understanding the basics of cardiology. Everyone, I hope you got a ton of value out of this video. Be sure to like, subscribe down below. And I've put together an entire video library of over 420 videos, plus our private student group to ask me questions while you're getting ready for school, while you're in school, and also an entire NREMT prep program at every level. It's the first link in the description down below, and I give my students lifetime access to all of it. My friends, I will see you in the next video. Take care.